Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to the video. Ki hal chal. I hope you guys are doing good. In this, we are going to learn count vowel strings in ranges. Although we have seen this in one of the live contest discussions, but again, we will see it today also. Now, uh, the actual complete tax we will see in Discord and Telegram. In this, you are given a zero indexed array of string words and 2D integer array queries. As you can see, you are given some words and a queries, which is some L I R I. As you can see, li ri, which means that number of strings present in the range li to ri, both inclusive of words that start and end with vowel. So, if I imagine these words as my list of strings, if I give the corresponding indexes, I want to simply find what? 0 to 2 in the index range from 0 to 2, how many words are there who start and end with vowel? I know I have. 5 vowel a e i o u so simply check does it start with the vowel yes end with the vowel yes does it start with the vowel no end with the vowel no okay does it start with the vowel yes end with the vowel yes okay so the answer for the first query is 2 okay then as soon as you get the next query next query here says 1 to 4 index 1 to 4 again both inclusive start and end yes start and end yes answer is 3 answer is 3 1 to 1 1 to 1 this oh answer is zero so this is ultimately what you have to do so i have to return the array answer of the size queries because for every query i have to return the corresponding answer and again uh, they're just mentioning if you don't know what vowels are now if you go very naive way as what we went that for every query for every query you go on to the entire range li to ri for this so in worst case it can be from zero to n minus one right so for every query and I, I know i have q queries i can go in the entire range and simply return it q into n will be the complexity will this work let's see n is 1 e5 okay n is 1 e5 q in this case if i go and check for the queries q is also 1 e5 so q into n will not work how to improvise it if we look back very carefully we will simply realize we are doing something called as range sum every time but are in range sum, I am checking first and then doing a range sum. Uh, two. But you can simplify your problem by rather than taking the input words which you have right now, you can simply check, okay, this word satisfies the condition, this does not, this does, this does, this does. So I can transform this by saying my words array can now become a one, it is true. It is false, it is true, it is true, it is true. So this is my new array because ultimately for me, this is what is required also. So if that is the case, now your problem simply becomes that from the index 0 to 2, 0 to 2, give me the range sum, right? Same way, index 1 to 4, 1 to 4, give me the range sum. Index 1 to 1, give me the range sum. How you can find range sum very fast, although you have a very, you know, uh, fenwick tree, segment tree, all the techniques you have. But the easiest one is prefix sum. Because here the queries are already given to you, they will not change. And again, your input words itself is not modified. In that case, when the input is not modified and, the, and some queries are given, we will use prefix sum. What if I would have mentioned that I have I am having some updates on words. In that case, I would have used prefix sum. Oh, sorry, I would have used fenwick tree or segment tree. But where the input remains static, in that case, we use prefix sum. If you don't know what prefix sum technique is, just go and watch this video and link in description. Now, prefix sum simply says that I will make a prefix sum array. And again, uh, by default, it starts from a zero sum. Okay, I'll take a sum. As you can see, zero plus one, one plus 1 0 1 plus 1 becomes 2 plus 1 becomes 3 plus 1 becomes 4 this is the corresponding prefix sum array now uh, as you know that it has to start from a zero index so again usually people do people actually make this prefix sum as one indexed array so if i again this is for your reference if i make the corresponding indexes for the prefix sum array it will be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 like this so you know that if as you can see, this is for index 0 in the input array, the corresponding prefix sum is 1, which means just a plus 1 I have added. So this is one thing how you know that this happens. Now, ultimately, what this prefix sum does? If I want to find the actual range sum from here to here, let's say, 
I okay this is my Li this is my let's say Ri I want to find Li to Ri as the prefix sum sorry as the range sum I will say prefix sum of Ri minus prefix sum of Li minus 1 that is my answer so 4 sorry this 3 minus 1 3 which is prefix sum of Ri is 3 and prefix sum of Li minus 1 is 1 so answer will be 2 as you can see the range sum is 2 right again if you don't know just go and watch this video so now we know that we we'll simply use the prefix and get the answer let's simply see the code but again make sure that if my index here here the prefix sum technically if i want to find the range li to ri i showed you like this but the actual code should be prefix sum of ri plus one minus prefix sum of li plus one and then a minus one this one which becomes to li so this should be your corresponding this should be corresponding actual prefix sum considering your index considering again considering your index goes from 0 to n minus 1 right cool let's see the code but again uh, as you can simply see i have also done the same thing cool i'll show you i'll show you uh, firstly i have a simple lambda function which checks if some character is a vowel or not just simply checking if it is a, a or a c a e i o u if it is then it's a vowel then I will start off by making my prefix sum, right? Prefix vowel count. And again, I initialize the corresponding size. You know why n plus 1? Because I have already kept index 0 in the very beginning. Now, uh, I went ahead and simply mentioned, okay? Simply go on to the all the indexes. As you can see, this is 1 based. I know my array is 0 based. But this 1 based, I have put it for actual prefix sum itself. Then in a prefix sum, you check the previous prefix sum and the current specific index or i should say current specific value which is this specific value now it is one or a zero depending upon depending upon if the start and the end both are vowels so i simply check if the start character which means at the corresponding front and at the corresponding back if both are vowels then just add a one else don't add anything when your prefix sum array is built then i went ahead and go on to all the queries for every query i know the answer will be prefix sum which i have already computed earlier in the earlier step of ri plus one minus prefix sum of li so as you can see for any query this is nothing but li comma ri which is query of zero query of zero and query of one query of one so query of one plus one for the corresponding prefix sum minus prefix sum of li right i'll just simply do this subtraction to find the range sum and simply keep on pushing in my answer or i can simply initialize the answer also with the size n which is nothing but when i say n which is how much query size is and ultimately give the answer now because i am using o of n time here o of n time here o of m time for q queries so i can simply say o of n plus q will be my time itself now space because i will use my this prefix sum of size n result is never counted in my space because it is the space like it is a result which i am giving in as the output so it is never counted so this is my extra space which i am using which is o of n so that is my space cool i hope you guys got it if yes please smash like button it's an easy problem so i will not expect much but bye take care